Thank you for your patronage. Puts us down to seven. Wow, they are uh, coming in droves today. So put us up to eleven. And with each ghoul Joshua guns down, he thinks more and more about his brother Michael, about having him taken away, about wanting to find out what's going on here, building his skills, building his anger. There we go. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And he's just thinking. I mean, it's enough to actually try to fight people, but just fighting these undead monstrosities, that's it's just something that fills him with that much more hatred. Being engaged with these kind of enemies. Alright. I think that would put us at either 18 or 19. One more batch of these disgusting creatures, and I think Joshua's going to have had his fill and fulfilled his contract. Reload. Wow, they do not want him to go. It's almost like these ghouls are starting to resent the fact that he keeps coming back here and gunning them all down. Who would have imagined? Okay, let's get paid, and let's go get uh, pick up our backup pistol. Well, the wieners, stokers, yeah, why not? We're actually probably going to originally end up at stokers anyway, considering we're probably going to want to rest up eventually. Right now, though, let's head to the Renrock of Arcology and pick up that pistol. Company man storms up to you. Hey, you can't get away with this. Don't think I don't recognize you. Well, you know what? Joshua is fed up. Last time he tried to talk to one of these maniacs, he just pulled a gun and nearly shot him to death. Joshua's gonna attack. As you move to attack, the man turns white and runs away. Damn right. Joshua is not taking any more crap from anyone. He enters Weapons World. So he wants himself a fine piece. Security light. And what really impresses him here, I mean like any light pistol, light damage, light power, but that magazine volume, that's that's good. I mean, I think the Predator already fills the the Warhawk's uh, power ability. I mean, just, yeah, it's brutal power, but you have less than twice the ammunition. You could probably get just what you need here with that. You could save up a bit more and get this room sweeper shotgun, but you know that stuff's illegal. He doesn't want to bend the rules. He doesn't get on the wrong side of the law just yet if he doesn't have to. And this place only sells crappy armor, so there's nothing worth there. The clips are actually more expensive, and uh, frankly, he doesn't want to customize any of his equipment right now. All right, he's gonna try out his new piece, I think. Not at Renraco, obviously. <laughs> no. He's gonna head back, do that quick uh, run from the Halloweeners to Stokers, reload, stock up on ammunition, and then it seems like he's gonna have to make a decision. But first, a haggard man collapses at your feet, his skin is pale and cold to the touch. A well-dressed man runs up, followed by two ordinary thugs. I'm a doctor, and this patient has escaped. Help us capture him, and I'll pay you. The well-dressed man has a malignant air about him. The ragnant victim seems terrified. Joshua grits his teeth and says, Leave him alone or you'll be sorry. They explain that they work for an insane asylum, and this is one of their patients. After showing the proper credentials, they give you 50 million for your help. Take their patient and leave. Hmm. Well, looks like things were not as they appear. And so we're going to be uh, escorting this schmuck. Can't even say we really remember what his name is. 
Doesn't really matter as long as he gets the stokers safe and sound. And that is just what he does. Thanks for the escort, chummer. You're welcome there, pal. Alright, so let's uh, enjoy a rest. Could increase our negotiation skills even more, make even more money. But uh, it might be a good idea, considering the uh, kind of problems Joshua's been facing. Maybe try to toughen himself up a bit. I mean, who knows? He's feeling confident now, but if he runs into somebody nasty and they really screw him up, he's in real trouble. He's going to increase his body, and he's going to increase his intelligence. He's going to get strong, he's going to get smart. He's going to figure out what he needs to do to succeed and survive here in Seattle. Alright, first thing. I actually doesn't have any <laughs> clips left on him. Looks like we're gonna have to reload. Neat looking little pistol there. I like it. Alright, so how much money do we have left on us? 637 million. Well, we can definitely pick up a med kit. That's not too expensive. I think it's about 200. There we go. 200 million. Bam. And now we need to pick up ammunition, of course. Um. Let's invest in it. Alright. That should be enough for now. Alright, as for, um... Let's look at accessories for our weapons. This is a smart gun system, but we either need smart goggles or a smart link. Smart link is cyberware, and smart goggles... Well, I don't know how to get those. We could get a silencers for our pistols, but, you know, what do we really need them for? I mean, they're useful if you want to avoid an alert inside a, a building, but... Joshua doesn't intend on getting on the wrong side of corporations any more than he has to right now, considering the problems he's had with Morocco so far. And this is for submachine guns, but, you know, he isn't dealing with that stuff. He could get himself laser sights. Increases the chance of hitting. Cannot be used with a smart link system, but eh, it might be good to equip uh, these on his pistols, actually. Increases accuracy. And the gas vents are not particularly useful. They're only for submachine guns. So... Laser sights make sense now. If he ever decides to do corp runs, silencers might make sense later. It would cost 500 apiece to get his uh, handguns upgraded this way. Hmm. Alright, well, after uh, equipping himself like this, Joshua's feeling pretty confident. I think at this point, He's going to go and uh, try doing some runs for Mortimer Reed. He's going to travel to the Penumbra District and go have a chat with him. And see what uh, kind of arrangement he can make out with him. Hopefully one that will prove uh, rewarding. It potentially uh, fruitful. So, just a sec. Okay, we're back. Going into the big rhino. And it sprouts and other dishes. Let's go talk to Mortimer Reed and see what he's got available. Yep, satisfied that we don't have any weapons. Let's see, we're looking for work. Step right up and I'll brief you on the job I am positive you will excel at. Go to the Hollywood Correctional Facilities on the Redmond Barrens. Contact there will give you a package. Take it to the Orc Embassy on Council Island. You will be paid upon safe delivery of the package. He offers up 190 new yen. All right, let's try it. We know where this uh, Shiawase nuke plant is. That's pretty easy to find. But we got to go back to the Council Island. Let's see how much this is going to cost us. It costs us 40 to get here, and I think 75 for there. So that actually cuts into our profit quite a bit. Let's go to the Redmond Barrens first. Pick up our package. Now, if Joshua remembers correctly, and I'm. Oh, entrance the plant's heavily guarded. Guard approaches, you have new beat it. Alright, business here, beat it before I open fire. Wait a minute, did we misread where we're. Ah! Hollywood Correctional is where we're supposed to go. Alright, so we'll head over there then. Head on over to Hollywood Correctional. And then to this orc embassy on the island. Guard walks up to you. You the runner sent from Johnson? You say yes, he hands you a package and walks away. Well, that's not very good security. Anybody could just walked up and said, yeah, sure. 
and uh, <laughs> just open the package up. Whatever. All right, let's do our job. All right, so Council Island, 75 new yen. That's already 105 new yen into uh, our 190 pay. This is this is cutting it down pretty sharp. Now he remembers the last time he was here. He's gonna get the predator out and make sure he checks his angles. All right, what is this place? The Passport Lodge on Council Island serves as a visiting center for tourists. All sorts of cheap items are for sale here, but nothing of value. An American Indian clerk in shirt sleeves and tie notices you and comes over. Ah, this is where we'd like to purchase a passport to the American Indian lands. Let's find out how much that costs. The clerk eyes you like something the cat dragged in. A passport costs 500 new yen, which includes a security check to prove you are not fleeing justice. Be aware, you are signing a binding contract to abide by tribal law while in the Salishite. Any deviance from the tribal law will revoke all privileges. If you hand me your credit stick, I can give you the forms to fill out. Well, we don't have enough money right now, so I'll talk to you later, chum. Enjoy the beauty of this island, good sir. So, it looks like it costs us... well, here's a security terminal. Uh, 500 new yen to get a visa to go into the tribal lands. Which is half as much as, uh, Boris's, uh, forgeries. However, you know, Boris doesn't care whether you're fleeing justice or not, and they do. Currently, uh, Joshua is not, so that works out well. Alright, what's this place? The Friendship Restaurant is the island's tourist trap. Prices are a bit steep, but the food is very fresh and quite good. Alright, let's see who's around here then. Let's talk to some people. Another nasty old man in the corner. They seem to be everywhere in Seattle. A huge female orc dressed in American Indian garb is here. She seems preoccupied with some fetishes. <laughs> Aren't we all? I'm looking for some information. She stares at you with blank eyes. What's your story, Chummer? I am Walking Bear. I was born in the city and was happy until I changed to the form you see now. Then no one would talk to me and many made fun of me. I ran into the wilderness and never wanted to return. There I met some American Indian tribes. They were nice and taught me the way of the shaman. Bear reached out to me because he knew I needed his calm words, and he knew I could take care of my American Indian brothers. To help them, I needed credits quick. I offered my services of healing, as well as my more forceful disciplines. Oh wow, an orc shaman. Walking bear. I need some questions answered. Like what? Tell me about shaman magic. Bear is mighty. He struggles against no one and looks after his own. Shaman who follow Bear must listen to all of the Earth's creatures and aid them when possible. Bear also will not allow injustice and will strike when necessary. Hmm. Sounds noble. You happen to know where I could find David Alfeather? Alfeather is a good man. Have you searched the Salishite? Yeah, that's where I thought we'd had to go. So, uh, perhaps you'd like to tell us more about how you were an orc. You know, because we're that racially insensitive and everything. She looks into your eyes. Many orcs shame me, for they make us all seem savage. Orcs are naturally larger than humans, so you fear us, and we react. But that is no excuse for their behavior. Oh wow, she seems pretty level-headed. Well, let's talk about a different subject. Looking for a good runner, you care to sign on? Where would we go? Oh wow, she actually charges quite a bit for her services. However, what that probably means is she's an accomplished shaman. That, that's probably a pretty safe bet. I'll talk to you later. Yep, so, uh, there you go, walking bear. We may want to hire her later on if we need some magical firepower. She seems pretty nice to boot. Let's check out this uh, inn. Salutations, weary traveler! I offer my services to you this fine day. You need a hot meal of a soft bed? No! I'll be seeing you, chum. Alright, so there we go. There's an inn there. Seems like it's overpriced, but whatever. Can we go this way? No. What about over here? What's this? The medicine lodge is filled with many shaman, as well as curious hermetic mages and mundanes. You weave your way towards the presiding shaman, Chief Running Stream. He waits patiently for you to speak. I'm uh, looking to hire a good shaman. Can you help me? 
I'm sorry, my son, but the shaman here have embraced nature. However, Walking Bear sometimes looks for work in your polluted city. You can find her in the Friendship Restaurant here on the island. Okay, fine. May I browse your store, ch ch Chief? It would gladden my heart to share my relationship with nature to those who would listen. Oh, and he teaches you various spells. And, uh, it's great if you are a shaman, but, you know, or a mage. Which we are not, so... I suppose if we ever make a good alliance or hire on a shaman someday, we could definitely use their services. What about, what's this over here? The door open. The guard snatches the package and hands you your new yun. We don't even know where we are! This is the Orc Embassy Building. A well-groomed orc, his hair is combed, greets you. Welcome, my friend. I am Ambassador Crumley. Would you like for me to show you around? Uh, sure. He tours you through the building. Other orcs greet you, smiling pleasantly. Later, you sample some orc cuisine in the kitchen. Insects are rather good when prepared properly. You leave the building feeling enlightened. It's good to know that some can overcome physical deformity and racial hatred to carve a better life for all. Goodbye, my friend. Come and visit any time. Aw, that, that makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Everyone is equal. In a, a metaphysical sense, I guess. Hmm, what's going on over here? Nothing. What is this place? The Council Island Hospital may have a rustic appearance, but they sport the latest in medical technology. You are approached by a nurse in leathers and moccasins. May I be of service? Uh, I'd like to see your services. Uh, okay, they offer cyberware here. Some of it seems outlandishly expensive. Also, some of it seems rather cheap. We're really going to have to do a price comparison later if we ever want to get cyberware. Which, no matter how which way you look at it, it is rather expensive. Alright, so it seems like we managed to... Go around Council Island without being attacked. That seems like an accomplishment. Alright, so we fulfilled our mission. Already 100 and, and uh, let's see, 40 and it was 75? Wow, we are 115 into our budget already. And we gotta go back there. So that's another 20 new yen. So we're up 135 for a job that only paid 190. Meaning at the end of all this, we only got about 55 new yen, which is about what we could get if we were just doing a run for Gunderson, and it took much longer and a lot more traveling. Okay, these kinds of jobs from one Marie do not seem worthwhile. To Joshua. What other work do you have? Ooh, hunt some ghouls, huh? 50 new yen a pop? Oh man, you just got Joshua's attention right there. There's a big, warm smile on his face at mention of that. All right, let's check our magazines. I'm sure we have enough. Yeah, nine clips. That ought to be more than enough. All right, so let's find one of those local uh, ghoul-infested warehouses. I think the one might be over here to the north. No, oh, that's Mitsuhama. Uh, maybe next door. Yeah, this place looks pretty run down. All right, let's uh, prepare for the dangers ahead and go on in. Alright, this place is a different setup. Let's look around. Oh, it's just a dead end. I want to stay away from that. Right, here we go. I'm gonna have the Predator out at first, just in case we run into something particularly hazardous. We'll switch to the security light. If we eh, run into some plain old ghouls, that aren't gonna be much of a problem. Oh! Boom. Two down. Let's take a look. This place seems like a real maze. Goes around this way. Much more maze-like than uh, that place we were running in the Redland Barrens. Gotta be careful. There are a lot of sharp corners here. You get easily jumped in a place like this. Gonna send us a thousand new yen, give or take. Hmm. It doesn't make Joshua wonder what this building was originally, considering the shape it's in and the way it was designed. 
I mean, there are chairs here, so... I would make it seem like people actually live here once. I doubt these ghouls are taking naps all too often. Hmm. Place well, seems oddly empty. Not what he was expecting at all. Ooh, gargoyles. Alright, just one, oddly enough. Down it goes. That's three. This place is really creeping Joshua out. Alright, here we go. This will put us up to eight. Alright. Yeah, Joshua is noticing the effect already. His marksmanship skills, even with a light pistol like this, because if it's superior magazine capacity, it's actually more efficient for this kind of work. Submachine gun would probably be even more efficient than that, but... <sighs> Doesn't want to have trouble with the law just yet. That puts us up to ten. Ooh, more trouble. And another vampire. Actually, probably gonna want to switch to the predator to deal with this guy. That is a pretty fruity sounding vampire, I gotta say. Either way, he's dealt with. So let's wrap up with the rest of them. Missed! That doesn't happen too often. Alright, now we're up to 13. Wow, how did they get all the way over there? Whoa, vampire! Look out. Bring out the big guns for those guys. That's 14. I gotta find that one that was over here. Looks like he... Oh, there he is. It's me! That cover is useful. Alright, so that's 16 and 17, I think. This probably will be all the ones we need. We can use this to keep them uh, on the other side of the fence there. Oh! Gets a, gets a good hit in. Son of a bitch. Really ought to take the predator out, but he's almost down. Got him. Whew. Man, there's trouble in here. Alright, that should be 20. Let's get out of here. Man, they just don't want us to leave, do we? Consider that insurance. Alright, well we dealt with those nasty people. And just as we exit, there's a sudden disturbance up ahead. Another person taking our picture with a holocam. And they quickly disappear into the crowd. Joshua didn't recognize that person, though. People are monitoring his movements, and he does not like it. Not one bit. Looks like I owe you some creds. Order makes the transaction, gets back to business. Got some more work? Employee in Mitsuhama's local office in the Penumbra District, John Worley, wishes for a change in career. Fortunately, his current employer frowns upon this. Assist my client with professional growth and return here to receive full compensation for your services. He offers us 465 million for this. Uh, we're gonna turn him down for now. Just because Joshua doesn't think he's quite ready for this. Now that he's thinking about it. God, if he wants to run the corpse, 
Having a silenced and a laser sighted predator heavy pistol would probably be just what he needs to actually be able to do that successfully. But hell, he does have the Nuyen for it now. Maybe that's something he should look into. Go to the Merlin's Lore in the Renraku Ecology. Take him to Roscoe the Fixer in downtown Seattle. Oh, forget about it. Not your package delivery boy.